Okay, so well, I'm going to show you how to rebuild this uh, failed, not failed drain. Um, I got to grind it down some more. You basically want this to be completely clean when you put this stuff on, so. all clean now. Um, I'm going to rub it with some acetone just to, if there's any gook on there we'll get the gook off. Just put some acetone on here and then you rub it down. Acetone's great. It's like the best adhesive remover. And I've, and I've already already wiped it, so I wiped everything off. So just get it extra good. So you can see where the original original curve of the the drain is right there. We want to Im mimic that all the way around. So it's it's missing a little bit here. Like a, about maybe an eighth, an eighth to a quarter of an inch there. And you see how that comes out? Well, it should be right there as well. And then it needs to be built up all around here quite a bit. So we're gonna, we're gonna take this. Um, this is our uh, JB Weld water weld it uh, basically is good for fiberglass iron aluminum um, this is a metal tub so I don't know what kind of metal it is but if it, if here's the metal it, it already, I already tested it on some other parts of this tub and it worked really well so basically you take this stuff out of the tube and we'll use the whole thing because or I will use the whole thing <laughs> and uh, I'm just taking off this stuff and you take it out of this plastic and it's just putty it's like, it's like clay and how it's yeah it's the hardener is on the I don't know if the hardener is on the inside or the outside but basically yeah mush it together and then it mixes the hardener in with the with the putty whoops and it'll, I think it said it sets up in about 25 minutes so I gotta knead it all together so that the hardener mixes with the clay and once and I suggest to do it with gloves so that it's better to do it with plat rubber gloves, um, but this is what I have, and, and it worked yesterday, or the day before yesterday. Anyway, it worked last time I used it, so, meaning my fingers didn't get all nasty. So, after you've done that long enough, um, just kneading it, you start to uh, set it in. So what you want to do is spread it out. You're going to basically make a drain <laughs> and 
I'm going to get it on the back side and the front side. And and I, I tap it in place. And I'll take some of this because there's enough here. And I'm going to put it in this other spot over here that has a kind of low spot. And then what I'll do is I'll sand it down. I know you can't see what I'm doing over here, but I'm just tapping it into place to where the edges get flat. And I need to pull some more. And you just knead it need it to where you want it you don't push it you have to squeeze it and squeezing is kneading so you just squeeze it into place and then once this hardens I can actually grind it down so if I do put too much, which is fine, um, then it will, I'll be able to grind it down. And that's what I'll probably end up doing. Is I'll put too much, then I'll grind it down. And you can't really see, I'm just trying to make it as flat as possible along the edge. so it doesn't fall. So I think what I'll end up doing is underneath, underneath I'll um, push it up somehow. JV well that just gets hard real fast. And I'll, and I'll just probably leave it like that, grind it down later on. I'll probably just keep supporting it here. Or I'll get underneath, I'll put some underneath it and hold it up until until it uh, sets up. So, and over here, just putting this in place. Then I'll grind this down because really, what's that? It's just basically Bondo. And uh, I'll grind it down and make it flat. Right now, I'm just kind of making it as flat as possible. from underneath and then grind it down later. This light doesn't look that great. Oh, 
prop something up underneath to hold that putty up. So I have a brick popping, propping up a piece of wood and uh, so I don't have to grind as much. I'm just going to shape it as it's drying shape it like that curve over there it's kind of the artsy part of this I, used to, I had pottery class and I learned how to Play. Play with it. So after this, should make a pretty good hole. Oh. soft but this there part's setting up really well but once it hardens it'll be super hard basically you don't want to push it too far because it's harder to pull it back than it is to push it in. Okay. I feel pretty good about that. That's quite circular. Uh, at least from the top down. And I do have grinding bits that I can grind off the excess with. And uh, That'll harden like metal. We'll come back to that later. <laughs> 